Hi guys, on today's Play About It Fight, I'm going to be talking to you about these things called trick points. Long before GPS existed, these big concrete structures were used to estimate and work out the height of hills. The 18th of April will mark the 85th anniversary of the Triangulation Pillar, most often known as the Trig Pillar or Trig Point. On this date in 1936, a group of surveyors gathered around a white concrete pillar in a field in Northamptonshire and began the retriangulation of Great Britain. These four foot high concrete pillars were typically built on top of high hills so that a clear line of sight between the two was possible. Around 6,500 trig points were eventually added to hilltops, allowing finer detail to be added to the maps, which is now given as the National Grid Reference System, which our Ordnance Survey maps are based on. Usually made of concrete or stone, these pillars form a stable base on which a theodolite can be placed. This is a device that will take angular measurements to neighbouring trig points and allow the height of these hills to be mapped. On the top of these trick points you may still see the metal disc and three grooves which show where the theodolite would be sighted. The telescope within the theodolite would then be pointed at the next trick point. The vertical and horizontal angles would be used to calculate the precise location of each trick point, building up a map of the country. In most trick points you'll also find something known as a flush bracket. Flush brackets, also found on buildings, have a unique number on them and provide a network of points at which height above sea level can be precisely measured. If you see a flush bracket, you can guarantee that there will be another one within about one and a half kilometres, or around a mile away. The use of trig points stopped in the 1960s, as the use of satellites, planes and drones rendered them obsolete. Some have been removed by farmers, but it's estimated that around five and a half thousand still remain. Most trig points are no longer used for surveying, as GPS has given us greater accuracy. But for hillwalkers and mountaineers, they are a place to reach, a target, a navigational aid and a place of celebration. As well as that, they're also a great place to take a selfie. No matter what the weather, reaching a trig point is a moment to savour. You'll see from our groups, our instructors and their families, a trig point is an amazing experience and being there is something we will all remember. Next time you're in maths studying trigonometry, think back to the poor souls that had to drop these big things on top of hills to work out how big they were. Check out our YouTube channel and you'll find out lots more fun and interesting clever bites.